food scientist Kayla Wallace and nutritionist Kelly Ann Petrucci are here to tell us what they uncovered about natural flavors. And remember, these no calorie drinks aren't using fruit juice, right? There's no fruit juice in the ingredients label. So how do they get the taste there? So when they say natural flavors, they actually do come from a natural source, but it's a process and it begins in a lab. Hmm. And so here's what happens. The food scientists will take a natural food, like this fruit, yep. and they'll put it in a big machine. And I have to tell you, it's called a still, and this is a big whopper, a huge machine. They'll put it at a certain temperature, prescribed temperature for a certain period of time. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that, it comes out like you see here. And this end product is actually really concentrated, and all of the nutri all the nutrition has been stripped away. So you can clearly feel that this is probably not going to taste good at this point. So what they do is they add in some extra flavor, maybe some you know herb or a bark or another fruit essence. They add that in here so you get the taste you want. So the point being, if you are drinking some kind of drink that's supposed to be grapefruit flavored. It may not actually come from a grapefruit, not fully. Not fully. Yeah. Well, I tell you, you experimented with some of these natural flavors in your food science lab to show what you uncovered here. And this is a, a pretty concrete example of how this would be done in the laboratory. Absolutely. So most companies aren't going to tell you exactly what's in their natural flavor because they have their own recipes. So I took a flashback to graduate school, <laughs> Dr. Oz, and I put on my food chemistry hat, went into the lab and made us a couple of examples. Now, the goal here is to really make the flavors pop in your mouth, right? We want to give you that experience of biting into the orange. But we don't do that with just one flavor. So the first drink that I'm going to show you, you can take a sip, uh, just has that one orange flavor in it. And as you'll see, it's very subtle, right? I mean, the word bland that comes to mind, <laughs> right. right? It's like water where someone dripped a couple droplets of orange juice in there. Exactly. So for the second drink, what I did is I extracted some flavors from the orange peel, the oils that are naturally in the orange, and then I added a little bit of phosphoric acid to give it a little tang and really kick those flavors up a notch. This is fantastic. Right? Yeah, all right. It's really, really good. See, you yeah. you invite me and Kellyanne to your Christmas see? party, and I'll bring the eggnog. You, I'll, both. I'll bring the alcohol. <laughs> yeah. but, 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 so, so back to the issue about the, these natural flavors and why it's this grab bag term. Is it purely because it's a secret recipe that they don't publish it? Well, so there's a number of reasons why we don't label it on the food label. One is food scientists. We want to keep the label as clean as possible. So like Kellyanne said, we want you to focus on the amount of calories or the amount of sugar that's actually in products. Uh, the second reason is because uh, flavorists, like my friend Stacy, travel all over the world to find the newest exciting exotic flavors so that they can go back in the lab and blend them and make the next creative innovation of flavored waters for you. They don't want somebody stealing that and knocking it off. Mm -hmm. So therefore, because it's all from natural products, right. the FDA just requires that you label it as natural flavor. So I mean, cut to the chase, are they safe? Absolutely. In fact, they're used in such small quantities, they don't make an impact on any type of health outcome. Now, here's what's interesting about natural flavors. Natural really does mean natural. So they can come from a fruit, a vegetable, an herb, or a spice. My favorite vanilla natural extract actually comes from uh, beaver anal glands. Oh, and Beaver <laughs> anal glands, and it actually tastes really great. What do you guys think about that, beaver, <laughs> beaver anal glands, even if it tastes great? And so you, <laughs> you can actually mix that with other flavors and actually get a raspberry flavor out of that. Okay. Now, for most of you all who are really grossed out with that, we don't actually sell a lot of those pro products on the grocery store shelf because one, it's expensive to do, and two, we don't really have a lot of beavers, you know, just kind of hanging yeah. out around <laughs> we, here. What a terrible <laughs> job to have. I right, harvest <laughs> beaver anal glands. All right, come on over here. So Kellyanne, yeah. what do we pay attention to when we're buying these, you know, these, these uh, flavored waters that have no calories in them? There's just one word we all have to keep in mind. The big buzzword, I want this to be so prominent in everyone's brain when they're looking for these, natural flavors. That's what we don't want to get any of the artificial stuff. Yeah, it's simple. These are natural flavors. It actually works for this. Yeah. Now, Taylor, if you prefer unflavored seltzer, you got a little tool for it, a little hack. Absolutely. Because I actually 
if I had my druthers, would only drink that. But I get that you get bored of just a plain old water. So help me bump it up a little bit. Hack it for me. Okay, well, let's bring a little food chemistry into mm -hmm. your own household. You can take those oranges, uh, maybe a little bit of mint or lime, and muddle those together because, again, you want to let those uh, oils escape from the food. Like a mojito. Yeah, and you can even actually cook them on top of the stove for, you know, one or two minutes to help bring those flavors out again. Uh, then add more water, dilute it out, let it set overnight. Uh, the next day, you can filter it through a coffee filter to get rid of all the solids, and voila, it's your first step to becoming a food scientist. Who wants to taste this? Who's up for this? Here you go. Why not? Give it a shot. This is my little gift to you. This is how we ought to be doing it if you want to avoid anything, but at least you know what to look for. You can share it down the aisle. Up next, can you really eat 5,000 calories of junk food in one meal can you, and lose weight? It's not about whether you can do it. Can you actually do it and lose weight? Think about that. We'll be right back. Woo!